Hi, I'm Sandy Stevens with 7K Roping, and I'd like to go over the design details and training functions of the various components of the Rope Something Total Training System. And the first item I'd like to go over with you is the Something Steer Ground Roping Dummy. Now the Something Steer comes with short horns and long horns and a horn wrap. You can remove the horns and rope it by the nubs for super short horn practice, or you can rope it around the neck for muley practice. The horns are slotted. After you rope it for a while, the horns won't start to tilt or flop. It has a balanced handle. Notice also that it has a flange base. And that flange base is what helps give it stability and more weight on the bottom without making it wide and heavy like some of those other fatter dummies that are on the market. You also notice that it's slightly shorter. It'll actually fit in your trailer manger. The next part of the system I'd like to go over with you is the something steer sled. Now the steer sled is obviously compatible with the steer dummy. You simply slide the dummy into place and it's got a quick latch that you can lock. You don't have to have adult strength to lift it up or over to put the dummy onto or take it off of the sled. There are really two main advantages to the something steer over other sleds on the market. And that is that the horns don't collapse and that the feet don't hop. And let me tell you why those are advantages. Without collapsing horns, that means that you can get complete head horse training. That means that you can log, you can tow the steer for your healer, you can turn, face, back up with the full weight and pressure of the steer, things that you can't do with any of those other sleds on the market that have collapsing horns. Now there are two other ways that you can tow the something steer sled. It comes with a bungee tow rope, and a nylon tow rope with a quick release ring. Now some of those other sleds on the market have a compression spring that stretches about a foot or so. With the bungee tow rope, you get about eight feet of stretch. And the reason we can tow the sled by a bungee is that the sled is lighter than those other sleds on the market. So it's safer to learn to practice dowling. It's safer to teach a horse to stop, especially on the hillside, and it's safer for the driver of the four-wheeler or UTV as well. The quick release is designed for roping at, say, a medium trot on the head side, teaching your horse to stay wide, teaching the roper to keep his horse's shoulders lifted up and pay attention to what's happening with the steer. If he does all those things, then the sled will slip off the ring and the header can turn the steer for his healer and they can complete a full run. Again, uh, stretch, face, and stop the clock. The other key advantage to the something steer that I mentioned is that the legs don't move or hop. Now, that's an advantage because those sleds that do have moving or hopping legs, the legs are symmetrical and they move in a very rhythmic, predictable fashion. With the something steer, each leg can be locked into four different positions or you can leave them to swing freely. The hips can also be locked to the outside or to the inside, or they can be left to free swing mode as well. So you can have either a very difficult healing setup, or you can make it a little bit easier for beginners. Another key feature of the something steer sled is that it's extremely portable. One person can easily take it apart and move it around. You simply unstrap the dummy, slide it out of the dummy brackets, and then you just have the front tow bar uh, the middle section with the skids, and then the rear section that includes the spine and the something hocks, the same spine and something hocks that we use on the trifecta healing dummy. While I have this off, you can see that the dummy brackets can be raised or lowered or tilted to the left or right to practice roping a head ducker. You can also use the something steer sled for calf roping practice. You can remove the horns and the horn wrap and rope it as a muley. You can remove the rear hocks and you can have a calf roping practice sled with the something steer sled. The something calf also has a similar base as the something steer, so you can slide the something calf up into the dummy brackets as well. The next part of the system is the something hawks trifecta healing dummy. Now we call it the trifecta because it can be used on the ground, you can hang it on the fence, or you can attach it to the hitch receiver of your truck or UTV. Now it consists of the rear spine and the something hawks, which are the same as what comes with the something steer sled. So if you have the steer sled, you can purchase the base as an add-on to have a portable healing dummy. Or you can purchase the trifecta system as a package. The Hawks have all the same features and can be positioned same as on the steer sled. It's extremely portable because you can remove the Hawks and the spine and you can easily take off the legs of the base 
and put all of those into the receiving portion of the base and easily put that in your trailer manger or the back of your truck for portability. The next part of the system is a something calf dummy, which has some of the same design features as the something steer ground dummy. It has the flange base, which gives it more weight and stability. Also makes it easier to mount to the something calf sled. It has a balanced handle as well. But I guess the most important feature of the something calf dummy is that it's got a realistic and anatomically correct head and neck, which gives it the proper profile, unlike some of those other dummies on the market that have elongated necks or overly wide and long steer bodies disguised as calf rope and dummies. A little lighter, more portable, and more realistic to practice on. It also has that angle differential that translates from the ground onto the sled for proper angle of attack, whether you're roping it on the ground or on horse. The next part of the system is a something calf sled. As you can see, the something calf fits perfectly onto the sled and locks into place with the cable and the quick latch. You can also leave it unlatched if you want to work on your calf horse training because the calf will pop off of the sled to allow you to work your horse. The height can be adjusted to four different positions by adjusting the pins. The stainless steel tow cables are positioned on the toes of the skids to avoid the rope getting caught on the skids and to give it the lowest tow profile of any other sled on the market. It comes with a bungee tow rope and a nylon tow rope. The bungee tow rope you can use if you want to work on your horse rating, give it some fluctuation, or you can tow it with a nylon tow rope if you just want a constant rate of tow. The calf sled is also compatible with the something steer dummy. The something steer dummy locks right into place on the calf sled, just as the calf sled works on the something steer sled. The next part of the system is the something horse. The something horse can be purchased two ways. You can purchase it as a powered breakaway and calf roping trainer that has a pneumatic powered piston, or you can purchase it standalone without the powered setup for team roping training. Team ropers often purchase just the horse and use it with the sled to practice stationary heading or healing and work on the mechanics. The something horse is extremely sturdy and durable. It's rated to 400 pounds. It's designed to be raised or lowered from 13 and a half to 15 and a half hands so you can set it to the height of your horse. It comes with the fenders and stirrups that you see here so that you can ride it with or without a saddle. If you want to ride it with a saddle, you simply slide the fenders back and you strap your saddle on and you just cinch it up like you would your roping horse. If you want to ride it without a saddle, it really helps you work on your core strength because you don't have the swells to lean on and you really have to concentrate on standing up and keeping your balance. We placed the actuator here so that it would be in the perfect position for you to activate the release of the calf when you drop your reins, just like you would drop your reins when you're pushing your horse to move forward in the arena. You can also remove it and someone else can activate it remotely, or you can take it off if you have your saddle mounted and it comes with the straps to mount it on your saddle horn. The head is reactive. You can recognize habits such as pulling your horse to the left or the right on delivery. It also helps you work on the timing of the cue of your horse to stop relative to your delivery and pulling of your slack. It comes with casters in the front, so you can easily pick it up from the back end and move it around. All of the pins and bolts can be easily removed by hand, so you don't have to have any tools to make those adjustments. You can easily take the head off for storage, and you can easily just pull the pins out and adjust it up and down, as I mentioned before. As you may have noticed, the calf sled is actually the same sled as the calf brown sled. It just has the wheels instead of the arena skids, but the whole package does come with the skids and the tow rope and tow cable, so you could use the calf sled in the arena and with the powered horse. The piston operates off of a small, simple air compressor. We usually run it between 30 and 60 or 70 PSI. You just adjust the air compressor to change the speed that the calf shoots out at. Next, we have the Little Something Roller Roping Dummy. When we started designing the Little Something, we just really wanted to create a roller roper that was as fun as possible to rope, so we thought, why don't we give it multiple horn options? So it does come with the goat horns and the steer horns, where you can easily remove the horns to have a calf roping dummy. You can also adjust the head up and down to three different heights. The head and the horns are easily adjusted with the simple thumb bolts. The hocks, we put them on the inside of the hips and made the design a little more realistic to rope, and they do collapse. 
We thought it'd be really neat if you could spin it a little faster, so we put swivel casters on the front end that give you really tight corners and really fast spins. And finally, we thought it'd be cool if there was an off-road option so you could use it in the gravel, dirt, or grass, so we do sell an off-road wheel package. Finally, we have the Little Something Chute. The Little Something Chute is super durable and stable. It does break down for easy shipping. It's a little more compact than some of the other products on the market. Comes with rubber foot pads on the front end to keep it from sliding. It also comes with roller casters on the back end so you can pick it up from the front end and easily move it around or tilt it on edge for more compact storage. The piston is activated by a foot pedal actuator that you can place on the ground, on the head, or the hillside, or you can leave it mounted to the chute with the magnets that come on the back of the chute. To change the speed of the little something, you simply adjust your air compressor. We generally run it somewhere between 60 to 80 PSI. If you have any questions about any of the components of the Rope Something Total Training System, please contact one of our dealers or give us a shout. If you want to know why we call it the Rope Something System, find us on social media and read our story. We really appreciate you watching.